guys right so today we're going to be showing you just a quick five minute video on how to fit your red grill stripe that you can get from us and um, we did one of these on one of our cars like a couple of years ago and a lot of people were saying oh what's that what's that so we sell this kit for like a fiver if you watch this video it's dead simple and quite effective while you and me repeat drive on now every, not everyone's going to be able to do it perfectly but if you feel confident to just give you a quick tip of how to do it so first of all it's going to give it a good alcohol wipe get any polish or wax on that you've already put on to make sure it's nice and clean get right in the edges obviously all the way along and try and get it underneath there no like I said never stick it in there but if anything falls in the glue so there it is and you can see that just dries off on itself Please, gone windy. Right, so basically, we've got the stripe. All I'm going to do is peel off that much of it. We're just going to get that bit lined up. Um, so obviously, I've done this loads of times, so it goes on first time. As you can see, we've started just pulling this much off, so we've only got this little bit to play with. Don't worry about this end yet, because I'd say we'll get this line perfect, so that's the bit that you're going to see. So all you're going to do is pull off a couple of inches at a time. You can see there. We leave like a millimetre behind there so it gives you a perfect line and you're just going to go along and rub it down like you can see there and it goes on. Obviously all you're going to do is keep doing that, keep on going another couple of inches. Now obviously you can see there where it's deviating off so the more you pull that end and this will only move a tiny fraction just to get that line back in there and then just keep going. See it's tucked in, so we'll see that little bit, little bit in. Just go back, pull it, and then just drag it down a little bit, and just get your line back on there. And as you can see, that's going on nicely. Are you and me repeat this bit of sweet heat? Oh, all that down nice and straight, as you can see. So go back to each end then. So all you're going to do on this is pull it back a little tiny bit. That's that curve there. And as you go, going, hold it up vertical like that. And as you're going up, just pull it to where you, exactly where you want it you can see there it'll just mulch it I mean it's quite warm today so this is going on really well obviously if you're doing it a bit colder circumstances use a bit of an air dryer but it literally needs a little bit of a waft on this thin stuff then all you're going to do is pull it across there so once you've got it to there you can see it's just curved in that corner like I say if you do get anything there just warm it up now with an air dryer and just peel it off there and all you're going to do is get the blades you supplied and just press down on that end there to give you a nice neat finish. I'd say you can't see that bit when it's done but it, it's nice to get it right. And that's it. Right so there you go guys as you can see when you stand back it looks really effective. Like I say it is a cheap simple mod to do and anyone can do it so I think if you sit down just take your time with it and like I say it just transforms the front end for a very little money. If you want any bits like this or any other tips, watch our YouTube channel or obviously visit the website www.killallchrome.co.uk You'll find loads of little tricks. Tip